Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, we'll cover how to set rates, mark time as billable and see calculated amounts in reports. Let's start with hourly rates. In Clockify, there are five levels of hourly rates and each entry will inherit one rate of those rates based on hierarchy. The lowest level is the workspace rate, which you can set in workspace settings. If there's no other rate, billable time entries will have this rate. When you set some hourly rate, it will be applied only to newly created time entries going forward while the existing entries will retain their previous rate. This is useful for instances when you want to increase prices but wish to retain historical data. If you wish to override the old rate on existing time entries, you can choose from which date the rate should apply or make it apply to all entries here. Alternatively, you can go to Detailed Report and remark time as billable, which will make the entry pick up the latest rate. You can also do this in bulk by selecting all entries on the page. The next level is the Team Member Rate, which overrides the workspace rate and is applied to all entries that belong to that particular user. For example, in the detailed report, when you hover over the amount, you can see that entries for this user inherited the workspace rate because that user doesn't have a set rate, while entries for this user inherited that user's rate. Next, you can also set an hourly rate at a project level, which overrides both the team rate and the workspace rate. You can also set a rate for individual tasks on a project, which overwrites the project rate. To set rates on tasks, you need to enable them in workspace settings first. And finally, you can also define a special rate on a project by a particular member. This is the most specific rate and it overrides all the others. As you can see, each entry will inherit the most specific rate it can. Let's now talk a bit about calculation. Clockify calculates the billable amount in reports by multiplying tracked time in decimal format with the rate an entry inherits. The total amount is calculated only for time entries that are marked as billable. This blue sign indicates the entry is billable and this grey sign indicates the entry is non-billable, meaning its rate is zero. The entries initially inherit the billable status from a project, so, for example, you can see in this project settings that it's marked as billable, and when you select the project in the time tracker, the entry will also be marked as billable. In the workspace settings, you can choose whether all new projects are billable by default. You can further specify which tasks on a project are billable and which are non-billable, as long as you have task rates enabled in workspace settings. If you're not using dollars as your currency, you can go to workspace settings and set your currency here. So for example, you can write EUR and the Euro symbol will be displayed in the time tracker and in the reports. Let's now see how this reflects in reports. The summary report crunches all the data and shows you the billable versus non-billable breakdown by date here. And down here, you can see the actual billable amounts either by user, project or something else. The detailed report lists all the time entries along with their biddable status, rate and amount. And the weekly report shows you a weekly breakdown either by time or amount. You can download any as PDF or Excel or share the report via a link. Both export and sharing reflect what you're viewing. 
For example, you can filter a report by client or user and the export and the sharing link will reflect that. You can also hide financials here if you need a report without the amounts. What to do with the time that you've already invoiced or billed. When you export a report, you can bulk edit all the time entries in the detailed report and add a build tag. Later, you can exclude entries with the build tag in report filters to avoid overcharging. In addition to calculating billable amounts, Clockify can also calculate labor cost and profit, which you can enable in workspace settings. Once enabled, you can set cost rates the same way you set billable rates. Everywhere you can set billable rates, you can set cost rates in parallel. Cost rates work the same way as the billable rates and follow the same hierarchy. The main difference is that costs are calculated regardless of whether an entry is billable or non-billable. In cases you actually need the cost to be zero for some activities, you can set zero as the cost rate on projects. Cost rates are also handy if you don't want to worry whether entries are properly marked as billable. You can use them instead of billable rates. To actually see costs and profit, go to any report and choose costs in the shown dropdown. Now you can see cost amounts everywhere instead of the billable amounts. Alternatively, you can select profit to see the difference between the two. This means you can compare your profit levels by project, client, user, group and date and see how your business is doing and on which activities you should focus more on in the future. This concludes our rate and billable hours tutorial. Thank you for watching and be sure to check out our other videos as well as like, share and subscribe.